Hey guys, I just bought me a new torque wrench since the uh, the one I, I had is, is just old and uh, I got rid of it. But anyway, this was a heck of a deal. I was checking online on uh, Harbor Freight's website and this torque wrench I got with with the tax. I think it was something something like let's see I, yeah I still have the receipt for the thing I just got it today um yeah I paid all together 1283 I think that's that is a bargain they retail for like $19, $19.99 or something like that. Nice, solid tool. It's reversible. And um, it's a nice, nice, you know, ratchet. And, um, and it's a click type of um, torque wrench. You know, they have the digital ones and then they have the one with a little indicator, which for certain jobs, they're not the ideal thing. But anyway, this one is in, uh, I wanted to uh, torque properly my, um, the, I can't think now, the lug nuts. And uh, so I needed one that torques in uh, foot pounds. And uh, this one is, is quite easy to adjust. You just loosen this bottom neural knob here and you just makes it hard to see here since I'm behind the camera but uh, I like to be at around 90 foot pounds for the um, for the mag wheels and that would be there and once you set your your adjustment you want to tighten this knob down at the bottom and the uh the torque wrench is, is ready to go so next we're gonna torque one of the one of the wheels and i'll show you that uh that step which is you know <laughs> nothing that you probably haven't done before but still i want to go over it kind of step by step all right so here we are and i got my torque wrench ready to go. I don't know if this is probably too long an extension, so let me remove that one. Much better. So anyways, I'm gonna start torquing and you'll hear a click when this torque wrench reaches 90 foot pounds. So here we go. That's it. There. Okay, so what I like to do, as is common practice, is go over them once more, just to make sure that we're there. See that one even turned a little bit. So it's this one. That's, that's it. Now, some people say 80 foot pounds for each lug nut. Others say 100. 
I just think that 90 is a, a happy median there. And um, once you use the torque wrench, you start to realize you're putting a lot of pressure. I mean, 90 foot pounds is quite a bit of pressure. So, you know, and the reason I wanted to, to show this is because I've been talking about my, um, my impact wrench, the uh, porter cable that I love using. But mostly what I like to do with that one, because when I lift the, the car, and you want to start removing lug nuts well you have to stop rotation of the of the rim I'm by myself so the impact wrench will just take those out without any issues real fast now for tightening the uh the lug nuts again this this um porter cable is not there's no adjustments and from what i've read or heard is that um, these things can, you know, if, if you keep tightening things, you can go up to close to 200 foot pounds. And that's a lot. And then you start running into issues where you start, you know, damaging things. And um, in the worst cases, I mean, and again, you know, if someone is using like a, an aftermarket wheel, like something made in China, for example, and sometimes their quality control is not, you know, what, what you really want. And uh, you put too much pressure on one of these rims and God forbid you may crack the, the darn thing and uh, that would be really dangerous. So. Again, I'm a proponent of using the uh, imp impact uh, wrench, but mostly to remove the lug nuts. So that is that. And I'm gonna now do the remaining three, three uh, rims and, and know that they're torqued properly. So that's it guys. I just wanted to, um, to point these things out in case anybody has any doubts on, you know, how to do it or what to use and, and whatnot. Uh, again, this, this uh, Pittsburgh Pro uh, torque wrench from Harbor Freight is, is a great deal. They come pre-calibrated and of course, you know, every, any manufacturer will tell you to have them recalibrated every six or 12 months, whatever their policy may be. I really have. <laughs> no clue where you where you would send the the, the uh, torque wrench to be recalibrated so maybe that's a, to a topic for another time but anyway thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later